Hi, and welcome to my messy ass bedroom. <laughs> um, hi, welcome. This is my 36 week bump date. Today I'm officially 36 weeks and one day. So when this goes up tomorrow, I'll be 36 weeks and two days. Um, my app says that 36 weeks is officially nine months pregnant. So hello, being nine months pregnant. Um, because apparently you're pregnant for like 10 months, I guess. Um, but yeah. I'm officially nine months pregnant. Um, it, my app says that baby is the size of a large cantaloupe, I believe. Somewhere around six pounds and anywhere between 19 and 22 inches long. So pretty much a full size baby minus probably some chubs that he's missing out on. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Um, my room is currently a mess because I spent the weekend rearranging a bunch of stuff. Um, which is really nice because it's something that I've been meaning to do and needing to do um, <laughs> up until this weekend. That crib that you see right there was in our guest bathroom taking up the entire bathroom. Um, and we had a dresser, the new dresser that we got Riley was chilling in our living room and just everything was a big disaster. So this weekend we finally got around to um, rearranging a bunch of stuff. We have. Her new dresser is finally in her room, and her old dresser is now in our room. And we've got the crib, that's where the crib's gonna stay, that's where the bed's gonna stay. We gotta get rid of some of the furniture that we don't have room for anymore, like this. Um, so I gotta figure out what to do with all these books and everything. Um, but for the most part, the big furniture is where it's gonna be, so that's really nice. Um, that took a big weight off my shoulders. Um, so yeah, um, I am 36 weeks, which means I have approximately 4 weeks left. Um, I thought I knew for sure how long I had left because I had originally thought that I was being induced, but turns out my doctor is super wishy-washy and it's kind of annoying. I'm going to ramble on a bit about this for a second. I know people have really strong opinions on inductions. Um, some people like are 110% against them and I completely understand and respect that, but with my first child, Riley, I was induced at exactly 40 weeks and it went so smooth and it went perfect and it was wonderful and it was great and um, I really, really enjoyed it. I feel like I understand the issue that people have with inductions prior to 40 weeks, but I feel like being induced at 40 weeks, it's, it's 40 weeks. You're full term. You are actually like full, full term. I mean, I think they consider full term 39 weeks now. It used to be like 37 weeks, which is crazy to me. Um, but I think full term is considered 39 weeks. So at 40 weeks, I don't see any, in my personal opinion, I don't see any reason why anybody wouldn't, couldn't or wouldn't be induced. Um, aside from wanting to go longer. I, like, I don't see any problems with being induced at 40 weeks personally. Again, I'm not a doctor or anything, but whatever. Um, so really earlier on in my pregnancy, like well before the, even the 20 week mark, I had brought this up to my OB that I wanted to be induced. Um, I, we live in Kentucky, we don't have any family nearby. My mom and dad live out in California and the closest people who live near us are Jake's parents and they live all the way up in Ohio, like the very top of Ohio. Um, so a good six hours without any traffic. Um, we also only have one vehicle. Jake's work is a good 45 minutes away, and the hospital is a good half an hour away. Um, so the idea of me going into labor on a night that he's not here, um, me like being far enough into labor to actually call him so that he's not wasting his time coming home just for us to go to the hospital and be like, oh no, you're not in labor. So for me to be able to call him in the first place, I would have to be in a lot of pain for to me to be like, okay, I'm like, I seriously think I'm in labor, like, please come home. Um, so in my head, the scenario that the, the worst case scenario that plays out in my head is like, holy shit, I am really far along. I'm in a lot of pain. I have to wait another 45 minutes for him to get home to us. Another 20 minutes messing around making sure everything's together because we have to take our daughter with us and obviously hospital bags and everything like that and making sure everything's good and getting her strapped into her car seat and yada yada yada. Um, and then on top of that, um, taking another half an hour, 40 minutes to get to the hospital from our house. 
like I'm scared to death like I'm gonna end up giving birth in the car or something I don't know um so I was really hoping on planning on having an induction and he had made it seem like he was totally down for that like like I said I asked him way earlier like way even before 20 weeks because I was it was really important to me that I found a doctor that was okay with being in, with inducing um and now at my last appointment he was talking about oh we'll start doing cervical checks and I was like oh, okay great um when are we going to start talking about like my induction date and then he starts saying yada yada something about insurance yada yada um I won't induce before 41 weeks and I was like I'm sorry what uh so the thought of that just stresses me out now obviously this may all just be a mute point anyhow I might end up going into labor at 38 weeks regardless um but having a plan in motion um because I didn't go into labor early with Riley or anything. Just the idea of being in f at 40 weeks and like having that totally up in the air just stresses me out so much that I don't even wanna think about it. I legit left the doctor's office and I cried. Um, part of that's probably just pregnancy hormones, but part of it's like, why would you tell me you're okay with something if like at 36 weeks you're gonna turn around and tell me, no, you're not okay with that. Like why, why mess with me like that? Like, I could have found a different doctor that was okay and absolutely, actually, 110% okay with inducing me. Um, but yeah, that's my struggle this week, is that I'm coming to terms with the fact that my doctor is not willing to induce me until 41 weeks. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I have a couple other things really quickly, since I rambled on about that for a really long time. Um, my weight gain update kind of goes hand in hand with my other <laughs> symptom that I've been having is um, constipation has decided to show its ugly face again. So I think I've gained a total of three pounds, but then again with constipation, I have no idea. Back at like 30 weeks, I thought I'd gained three pounds and turns out <laughs> I, my constipation went away and turns out I hadn't gained anything. So I don't know. I might have gained three pounds. I might not. I don't know. Um, <laughs> who knows? And then also I have on here um, crusty nipples. So um, I have started noticing, I, I think I'm starting to lactate or at least my body's preparing the lactate. I don't really know. Um, when I first fell pregnant, I was still actively lactating because my daughter was still nursing to sleep. And then somewhere around 20 weeks, I completely dried up. And then now I've noticed, like, when I go to take a shower, it'll have, like, a little bit of, like, crust. I don't really know how to describe it. It's literally, like, dried up, like, claustrum milk. Um, which is really cool, because I just think about, I'm like, that's really cool how last time with Riley, I didn't have any signs of milk production until at, well after she was born. And this time around, my body's already gearing up for lactating and nursing and it's just really cool how to see like the differences between this time and last time and yeah i don't know it's just really cool <laughs> um but anyway i think that's it i have a doctor's appointment next week and then i start going in weekly after that which is going to be just freaking fantastic i love doing that um i don't know if you can hit this if you can notice the sarcasm in my voice i'm not excited about that <laughs> But anyway, yeah, that's it. I'm going to do a belly shot, and then that's going to be it. All right, there we go. It's kind of the worst background to do this in front of, in front of a white bed with a white shirt. Lift it up. There he is. I don't know if you can see any stretch marks, but I definitely have some that are starting to get a little bit more red. Um... Not cute. Also, my belly is super hairy. It's really gross. But there he is. There's that baby brother who still doesn't have an actual official name. You can give him a hug. Oh, give him a kiss. Oh, you're so sweet. Best big sister ever right here. Best big sister ever. Love you. Okay, but yeah, like I said, that's it. Um, I probably will see you guys for 38 weeks. I might start doing weeklies. I don't really know. Probably not. I'll probably see you guys at 38 weeks. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching.